All right, uh, let's see. So we actually have some patch notes to look at. I recorded a bunch of this after getting back from break and then haven't looked at anything else. So it looks like we have Ascension mode is available. Uh, gameplay, cheater score penalty reduce, as is there for informational purposes, not fun ruining. Nightmare no longer retains cost for turn when copying cards. Okay. Oh, so... Okay, that kind of makes sense. Playtime is now calculated incrementally rather than the, than the end time. Okay, sentry HP ranges are wider. Collector respawns its minions considerably less often. Huh. That's interesting. And then other stuff. Alright, so how do we do ascension mode? Wait. Was it there? No. I have no idea how we access ascension mode. I guess we just play? Ah, ascension mode level 1. Elites spawn more often. Experimental runs get harder when you win. Doesn't affect win streak. Sure. Uh, let's see. Lose HP, remove a card from your deck. This is not a great start. Um, I'm gonna get a rare, rare card. Immolate would be, Immolate is tempting. I, I will grant that. So, the thing about Ascension Mode is elites spawn more often, meaning uh, mid-boss hunting is actually going to be easier now. Could suck, though. Could get my face crunched in, but we'll end up with a lot of little benefits. Okay, so I'm probably going to ride the Mystery Machine up to this bonfire, and we'll see what happens. But yeah, Bludgeon to start is a good sign. It's a really good sign. Uh, let's see, do we block, or do we just Bludgeon? That's 12 damage, though. This is going to hurt. Bash, strike. Yeah, hopefully we get the... Uh, uh, let's see. Uppercut. Uppercut's pretty good. Shockwave's pretty good. I'm gonna go Pommel Strike for now, though. Yeah, I want Sneko Eye. If we can get Sneko Eye, I'm gonna be in a really good spot. Uh, let's see. Transform, or... I'm gonna actually upgrade Bludgeon. This early on, an upgraded Bludgeon is going to one-shot most enemies, which is going to be stupid helpful. And I don't have much money. At all. None of these are immediately useful. I would love medical kit, but I am too damn poor. And the rest of these I don't want to go with. Okay. Yeah, toolkit and medkit. Oh, this is scary. Upgrade a card. Get a relic. Uh, let's just obtain a relic. We get normality. That's fine. I'll live. I only play a couple of cards anyway. And let's rest. I'd like to upgrade more cards, but uh, how we also have a mid-boss coming up. Possibly two. Probably not. Stomp, anger the mushrooms. Oh, boy. We might want to bypass the first mid-boss here. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. All right, let's defend defend. That extra dexterity is actually going to make a massive difference. Let's go in for the fungi beast in the back. And chuck a flame potion at him if I have to. What I'd like to see is when you stab the heart, you keep all your shit and just begin again. Yes! I, I cannot believe that they have not added an infinite mode to this game yet. Honestly. Uh, let's see. So I've got the bludgeon. So we're going to bludgeon him. And then I'm going to fire potion him. And then all we have left is that one fungi beast. Okay, he's gonna hit hard though. Bash. Strike. Can't do anything else about it though, unfortunately. Ow. Maybe you should have saved the potion. Well, we're at half. We get odd mushroom, that's kind of helpful. And a strength potion. Um, I'm going to get Twin Strike. Do we go for the mid-boss or we skip? Let's skip. Let's see if I can heal a little bit. Ooh, good. Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. Okay. Uh, let's not Pommel Strike. Let's Strike, Strike, and then I'm actually going to defend. If we Pommel Strike and Drew Bludgeon, it would be a mistake. A mistake? A problem. 
Really? Nothing. Okay. Bash, defend. See, which character has the best relic? Absolutely Ironclad. Like, Ironclad is indisputably the... Honestly, the better class right now, in my opinion. I'd like these. I'd like Heavy Blade. I'm actually going to get Heavy Blade anyway, because it, it effectively counts for multiple strikes. Ooh, and we get Vajra. I'm feeling brave. Let's go after a mid-boss. It's this sucker. Okay. Oh, I'm not even going to contest this. We start by drinking. I'd love to bash him, but we're going to start with the bludgeon and take him down to half. Because I can always two-shot him. Let's see. Wander, why don't you play Final Fantasy? One, because it's uh, Final Fantasy 13. Because it's an old game and not really my kind of game. Okay, we'll actually block here. Cut down the damage a little bit. But yeah, I, I'm not a... I like JRPGs. They're really fun. Uh, but I tend, tend not to play old ones. Uh, uh, Impervious would be nice, but I'm actually going to go Disarm. Um, I tend not to play old ones for a wide variety of reasons. And then also... Uh, Final Fantasy thirteen was kind of bad. Kind of... I mean, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't that bad. It looked really pretty, but, like, I actually played the first two hours of it on my own to see if it was worth doing a series on one day, and I was just like, this just doesn't seem like my kind of game. So I moved on. I don't know. Anyway. Let's get Iron Wave. Okay, let's check the map. So we've got another mid-boss. Yeah, it's... Let's rest. Let's... Let's keep going mid-boss hunting. If I can do some fun stuff, that'll be nice. Uh, let's remove a card from my deck. Goodbye, normality. You're not actually that big of a deal. If you ever want to stream a bunch of really bad short games, go check out a global game jam. I, I'm i actually tempted to do that sometimes. Uh, I actually participated in a game jam once. It was fun. Uh, I don't know if I'd ever do it again, but it was fun. But yeah, so we have ice cream. So we want to get some energy increase increases if I can. I'm so glad they switched these guys to days. Uh, let's see, so I do not enough. So let's block twice and just hit this guy again. Take it slow, take low damage. So what about Final Fantasy XII? The PC release of this is February 1st. I'm kind of more interested in that, but again, like, older games kind of go on, on the back of the list. I've got a huge list of games coming out that I, I would absolutely love to play. Um, actually, yeah. How big is this list? I, I made it today. It's a list of 20 games? 3, 6, 9, 12. Okay, 17 games. Close. Um, it's a list of 17 games that I would really like to play at some point. Um, and they're all coming out within the next month. Uh, so the idea of uh, picking up specifically Final, Final Fantasy 12, which is a very bit older, while I'm running... How many JRPGs am I running right now? Digimon, Lost Sphere, and uh, Xenoblade. Is there another one? I don't think there is. But yeah, it's kind of one of those where you're just like, I can't, I can't. I'd love to, but I can't. Uh, let's see. Sword Boomerang wouldn't be bad. Thought that list would be longer than that. No, 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 no. You, mis you misunderstand. That's 17 games that are coming out within the next three weeks. Uh, that's not, uh... Let's upgrade Heavy Blade, I think. Uh, so the problem is, of course, for me, it's... Uh, super disadvantageous to uh, pick up, like, an old, long JRPG. Because uh, not only am I going to be mired in that for quite some time, generally... Uh, but I know that I'm not going to be... Okay, let's do Defend and then Iron Wave. There we go. 
Uh, so what is on my list, anyway? I gotta get to Endless Space 2. The Vaulters expansion just came out, and I love Endless Space 2. Treasure Treasure Adventure World. Actually, more more immediately, we've got Wolver Blade that comes out tomorrow. Uh, is it? Yeah, it's tomorrow. Um, I'm just gonna block. We'll bludgeon him. Games that are coming out now that you want to play. Oh yeah, no. It, uh, the game, the list of games that I want to play over the next couple months is, um, is actually a, a fair bit, or not over the next couple months that have already come out is actually a fair bit larger. Now I'm just talking about like games that come out between now and February 27th. Um. But yeah, so Endless Endless Space 2 Vaulters, which came out. Wolverblade comes out tomorrow. Dragon Cliff, which looked like a bad Chinese Chinese or Japanese town management game. Um, but bad in terms of like, eh, it could actually be worth a look, maybe. Uh, let's see, I'll take one damage for this, it's worth. Uh, let's see, Wolverblade. Galactic Ship Rate, right, which kind of looked like a Vorion, but prettier. Dandara, Octogeddon, Attack of the Earthlings, Symmetry. Um... Treasure Adventure World, Aegis Defenders, Aeg Aegis Defenders, I don't know, Longest Five Minutes, Elgabot, Fen, Vic Vicious Attack Llama Apocalypse, Immortal Redneck, Deep Six, and I think there's two more that I don't actually remember particularly well. I have a lot of games that I want to cover, and I never have enough time for all of them. <sighs> I'm very busy. And it sucks. Okay, so he's going to hit me for 12. Eh, let's just do this. Oh, right, there's the uh, the Apocalypse expansion for Stellaris. I forgot about that. Aegis Defender sounds cool. It is cool. Uh, it's a Metroidvania platformer tower defense? Uh, with, like, co op -y things. What about Sea of Thieves? Uh... So, uh, I've probably mentioned this a number of times. I don't know if I've talked about this here. Uh, ooh, okay, we gotta go Limit Break. Upgrading that would be amazing. Brutality is kind of nice, but since I start with one strength, Limit Break, no matter what, is worthwhile. All of these are garbage. So let's grab the Lizard Tail. Um, but yeah, Sea of Thieves sounds cool, and it'll probably be something that I cover at some point when I feel like it, as opposed to more immediately. Uh, my main problem with Sea of Thieves is I'm in a huge group of YouTubers uh, on a Discord. And they will frequently discuss what games to play and win. And when you know, like, a bunch of people with over a million subscribers are, are playing a game, you're kind of like, okay, business is... Best, you know, business decision is to avoid that game, probably. Uh, just because there's no room for me uh, to play it. And so I'd rather play that when, you know, it fits, as opposed to uh, as soon as possible. That's a pretty bad draw. We want to go up this way, grab the mid-bosses. Fight two of them, I think? I don't want to try and fight a third. I think it'll get me killed. Maybe? I don't know, we'll see. Well, let's do Limit Break. It's kind of bad, but right now I don't have much of a choice. But yeah, I'd love to play Sea of Thieves. Don't get me wrong on that one. It's just a matter of, uh... It's just a matter of, uh, you know, prioritizing the series that I want to do. Wouldn't mind seeing Necropolis again. If they update Necropolis, that game is... I don't have good feelings about Necropolis. I love Harebrained Schemes as a studio, but, like, they put that game out, realized it they made a shit product and abandoned it fast. Uh, let's go with it. We get Writhe, but we get Pennib, which is worth. Like, I wanted to, I wanted to like, uh, Necropolis so much. And it's such a damn shame that they, you know, did what they did with it. Because that game would have been amazing. Could have been amazing. I mean, the idea of a of a Souls-like roguelike is really cool, but what can you do? They had a wonderful art style. 
I mean, even the level design was kind of interesting. It's just like, how do you like really large levels that are kind of indecipherable? And then also boring. It sucked. Well, uh, let's see. He's going to hit me for eight. I could do this and take out a huge chunk. Or block and heavy blade. I'd like to do bludgeon, but reducing damage that I take is better. Yeah, it turns out so soul slikes are hard to make. It kind of varies. Um, I think the main main thing is when making a soul slike, you have to make sure that you you have like the right formula going. What does Writhe do? Oh, Writhe is not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. But yeah, the first rule of any souls like is you have to make sure that the uh, you have to make sure that the combat is is good. And if you can't ma manage that, it's a problem. So he just joined. Does he know the most recent update? Uh, Ascension mode? Yes. We are playing it now. Unless you're talking about something else. At which point, no. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, we got Pendib. Did I see the sequel Shrouded Insanity? Oh, sequel of Shrouded Insanity. Um, is that a... Oh, tonight there was an update. Then I probably already got it. I'm actually going to get Whirlwind. Normally I don't get Whirlwind, but today it might be worthwhile. i got to remember, I've got ice cream. Hmm. Okay, so we've got some options here. We've got the membership card, which gives us a 20% discount on all products, which is kind of helpful. Okay, I'm on the previous version. Okay, so I'm going to have to update it. That's dumb that it didn't update before. Oh, you know what? It's because I'm not in beta mode right now. Because I uninstalled everything, it, it reset that. That's stupid. Okay, so what do we what do we get? Membership card or bottled flame? Let's get membership card. Bottled flame would be nice because I could start with uh, bludgeon. Oh, it's usurper. It's an early access, but it's really good. I have usurper downloaded actually. Anyway, let's grab the membership card. L means I could get the paper frog. Paper frog is actually really useful for me, so we're gonna go with that. Aren't you going to remove Rive? Rive, or is it not a problem? We got another bonfire coming up. Also, not actually a big deal. Um, Rive doesn't do damage to you, uh, so don't care too much about it. Anyway, so uh, what Paper Frog does is it increases damage done to vulnerable enemies by an additional 25%. So if I say get Bludgeon right now, I will almost kill him. Son of a... 56. Bludgeon! I'm actually a little insulted. Ah, oh, it's because he weakened me. Balls. I'd like to get dual wield plus, but I think I'm just gonna skip these. I, I don't want to bloat my deck too much. Okay, so let's smith up limit break. We need that. Yeah, I was tempting to get the Bottled Flame for the upgraded... Oh, boy. These guys are a regular encounter again? Huh. Okay. I mean, this shouldn't be too bad. We'll see this. But yes, I have seen a Usurper. I have a copy of it. The developer sent it to me. Um, I just didn't even notice. Okay, so I'm going to take some damage for this, but I think it's worth it. I do want to get Sneko Skull, though. Or not Sneko Skull, Sneko Eye. Might be... No, it's not too late for it. Just sucks, because this would have been such a good run for it. Uh, let's see, so do I do... Uh, I guess we'll block... 
I could disarm, but it's not worth it. Yeah, this isn't so bad. Just a little bit more damage than I wanted to deal with immediately. Oh, this is dumb. Uh, let's see. Could dual wield. Don't feel like dual wielding. Let's just block twice. Could have bashed. Probably should have actually bashed the cultists and just taken the damage. I don't know. We're in that kind of scary spot where it's like, these guys are going to start killing me. Or not. That's why I got Whirlwind. Okay, and let's grab Armaments. I'd like to get the Flame Barrier, but Armaments upgrade that will maybe help more. I don't... I don't know. Okay. So, Limit Break. I could kill one of them. Yeah. I'll just kill one of them. That's fine. We're taking a lot of little damage here, which I'm not happy about. Armaments. Iron Wave. Iron Wave to him. Because he's scarier. Okay, this is rough. This isn't a bad run, but we don't quite have the, uh... The oomph to make it good. Whirlwind again. Get rid of the little guy. Can't do much about it. I could use the Strength Potion, but I was kind of hoping to save it for something a little bit more dangerous. I can't imagine we're going to have much more dangerous than this, though, so I should probably just suck it up and... eat it. Um... Oh, I might just die here, actually. Yeah, I'm just going to die here. I don't have the defensive capabilities to take hits like this. Well, luckily we can go get that update then. Short episode. Oh, wait, no. Wow, we just barely lived through that. Holy crap. Okay. Uh. Also, we've got Lizard Tail. So we're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. Okay, so Limit Break. Strike. Kill that guy. Work on that guy. End. Yeah, I forgot about my tail. But also, I guess I'm on death's door anyway. So, a little early for giving this up. I don't have much I can do here. I'm just going to bludgeon this guy. Take the hit. Yeah, there's nothing I get there's nothing I can do about 36 damage. I don't have the uh, defensive capabilities for that. Ugh. I'm still wildly wounded. Iron Wave, Pommel Strike. And he's dead, the wizard leaves. I am pretty wounded. Ouch. Uh, let's grab Headbutt. So I can bring uh so I can bring Huh. Okay. Hmm. Let's block some of the damage, because otherwise we are going to be very close to death again. Well, we do have Centennial Puzzle to just hand us cards. Yeah, this is a good run, but I think we need the extra energy to really make this work. Okay, uh, let's do armaments to disarm. Disarm that guy. And just defend. Oh, I should have iron waved, now that I'm thinking about it, whatever. And she heals. But I can kill, I should be... Maybe able to kill her with a bludgeon? No, I can't kill her with a bludgeon. I'd be damn close to killing her with a bludgeon. Can't really afford to take the damage, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's see, so what was wrong with Necropolis? You looked up some videos and you didn't see any issues. 
it just didn't play well. It's like, imagine playing a Dark Souls game, but it doesn't really play like a Dark Souls game. It kind of plays like this off-brand, slow, sluggish, and unresponsive version. That's what it felt like anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Probably should have just tried to take her out with me, but whatever. It's not the end of the world. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, easy way to describe it is like, you spend about four, three and a half, four, four and a half hours uh, playing a, playing a, <laughs> you can watch my stream as I die. It's in slightly, uh, in a slight delay. Let's get this update going. Um, But like, you spend, what, four and a half hours playing through kind of a slow, not that interesting Dark Souls game with like no real enemy variety or weapon variety. Um, and like when I say slow, I don't mean like methodical. I mean like it just feels sluggish. And then you get to the end and then there's just this awkward, awful boss fight that you cheese to death. Because fighting him actually toe to toe just kills you. And then you're just like, what was the point of this? I don't know. That's that's how Necropolis felt. And then you're like, oh, this is a roguelike, so I'm encouraged to play again. Well, what did I unlock? Nothing? Okay. What's going to be different about this next run? Nothing? Okay, yeah. Putting that away. And it was 30 bucks too, which is the other problem.